Um, what brings me to California is Spectre because obviously this has been our opening week and um, so I was here promoting the movie. Uh, my impression of the Evoke convertible is that it is an absolutely stunning car, inside and out. It's so luxurious and it would be totally at home in the English countryside or in the Pacific um, Highway here in California. It's just an ideal car all year round as well, but particularly in summer, it's, it's amazing. I want it. Um, money penny driving an Evoke convertible. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that because I think it's a really, really glamorous car and I'm not sure she's really that kind of glamorous. But I think she has this kind of alter ego, which is really glamorous, which would absolutely love it. I definitely think she would um, enjoy it and um, she'd be brilliant at driving it around town. Um, if I had an Evoke convertible to experience anywhere in the world, it would be here, right here in California. I think it's an ideal place for the Evoke. Um, I just would imagine myself driving around Melrose with the, the top down, the wind blowing in my hair, the sun shining, some great music playing. I would have, be having a ball. I think it's amazing. Um, like doesn't encompass what I feel for it. I really, really love this car. And it, it, I just think it's so... Um, so sexy really it's a really sexy beautiful beautifully designed car yeah um what's next for me after promotion of spectre well i did a film straight afterwards which i've completed now so now i'm giving myself a nice break and i'm off to the maldives to have a gorgeous holiday um and i would love to take the evoke with me if it's available please anybody please I don't know whether British talent is really taking over Hollywood. I think, you know, British talent has always been recognised in Hollywood and I think that's one of the reasons why we all come here, we flock here, because um, there is, there's so much opportunity here. Um, and I think the reason why the Americans respond, or Hollywood responds so well to British talent is because of the training that we get in Britain. You know, uh, most, most actors have gone to drama school and know how to do a million different accents and, um, and have played various characters on straight stage and that translates beautifully on film. So I think Hollywood really respects that. Mm, my dream role, gosh. I don't know. Um, I think playing a villain, because I've never really played a villain. Because um, Tia Dalmer in Pirates of the Caribbean was as close as I got to playing a villain, but she wasn't really a villain because ultimately she had a good heart. So someone with a blacker heart, you know, really evil, want to get up to real mischief.